All right, this is, we've scraped the bottom of the content barrel. I'm hoping it's not like when you scrape the bottom of your garbage can and all the like desiccated detritus is like rehydrated and starts to smell bad. I hope it's like when you like cook a steak and then you deglaze the pan and you get like a delicious sauce out of it. But this is like as, as low as it gets, man. This is the shopping carts and baskets tier list maker. It is kind of a natural extension. Um, when you think about how often I go to the grocery store, uh, I've experienced many of these, perhaps even all. Like, I get to, let me tell you, okay? Classic grocery store basket, classic grocery store cart, bougie grocery store where you separate uh, your produce from your other goods. This looks like it's, uh, I don't even know, is that a canvas strap? I don't know this one. European, Home Depot, uh, exclusively for buying baguettes, goaded. This is the Ikea bag. This is the Ikea furniture cart. And this is the Home Depot uh, hauling wagon. Okay. So I'm going to do my best here, all right? Can I tell you that, first off, I always grew up thinking that uh, I would be a cart guy. But it's because I grew up 30 minutes away from the closest grocery store uh and when me and my parents would go to the grocery store we would buy groceries for the week so that we didn't have to come back for a week you need a cart to haul that stuff around now that i'm older i go for walks a lot i live in a city with ample grocery coverage i'm more of a basket guy i i typically i i very rarely end up in a situation at a grocery store where I'm incapable of getting into the express lane. I always qualify for the express lane. I have TSA pre-check. Um, but I do need to say before, I'm just setting the preamble here. There is a problem with baskets. You pretty much always need to have one hand holding the basket. If you get heavy stuff consistently, you're going to end up with, that's why my right forearm is 50% uh, bigger than my left forearm. And... Sometimes, the, depending, a, a basket is not just uh, capable of holding less. There's also some other foods that, like, if you're buying a baguette, you got problems, right? Like, you're, how are you going to fit a baguette in a basket? Do you put it resting on the edges, under the handle? If it pokes out, you got to make sure that under 50% of it is over the edge. Otherwise, the weight will just tip it over. So it does make so, so that some things can't actually fit. But anyway, I, I am a, a basket uh, man for the most part. Although, can I tell you, actual uh, triple S tier, we'll skip double S tier for obvious reasons. Uh, anybody here from the Warzone days? Anyway, triple S tier, baby stroller. Because you got the baby strapped into the baby stroller. But then you got the, the floor under the stroller is a perfect basket-sized cart-enabled area. You put, the, you put the groceries down there, and then you go to the checkout, and you, you put the groceries up. And then they say, do you need a bag? And you say, nah, I'll just put it right back in the stroller. It's good. You, it, it's, it's a positive thing. Anyway, um, let's get started. This basket, hey, let's just be honest, okay, is, is old reliable. Um, I, can, I can feel in my mind's leg right now, I can feel the cold waffle metal pushing up against my leg when I'm wearing shorts on a hot summer day. Plastic handles... You got to have them because if you're going with metal on that, they're going to dig into your hands a little bit. But I, uh, uh, I much prefer a plastic basket to the metal basket. But I mean, I got to say, this is old reliable, man. This is, a, this is B. One, one thing that keeps it from being a little bit higher, hear me out here. What if you bought uh, a single radish? It's going to fall through the cracks. I've been buying radishes lately because I'm making fish tacos, shrimp tacos, et cetera, et cetera. Get a bag? Oh, what, do you hate the environment? 
I, you're learning a lot about me here, okay? I don't put any of the produce in bags. At all. Two potatoes, they go straight in the basket. A, a bundle of carrots, straight in the basket. I don't, put, I don't put them in bags. I've been doing it this way for 10 years. I've never had a, a cashier be like, what the heck's going on with this? It's literally never happened. I just put it in the basket. I don't understand. Nature put most of the produce in a bag itself, you know? The potato has a peel. Most, most fruits and vegetables have an outside. What about grapes? Grapes usually come in a bag, you know, with the, the, the little wood attached to them still. If, or they, maybe they've been taken out already and they're put in like a little, you know, cardboard tray or something like that. I wouldn't put loose grapes in the, in the basket, but I've never seen the, I've never seen loose grapes for sale at a grocery store. Do you take the basket home? No, then you put them in a, you just put them in a bag. I mean, I, I'll be honest, when I'm at the grocery store and I see people putting like russet potatoes into a plastic bag, I'm like, why do you hate yourself? Oh, I wouldn't want the potatoes that have visible dirt on them to get dirty from the basket before I take them home, wash them, and then peel them anyway. Then you get home and you just throw out the bag. Like, congratulations, you just created a lot of uh, work for yourself uh, for absolutely no benefit whatsoever. It's for organization. You, do, you unload the groceries anyway. This is, I, I'm, it's crazy. It's so you can carry them. That's what the fucking basket is for. That's the, the basket forms an area with two handles attached to it so you can carry them. I can't take the basket home. Did we put the loose produce after it gets scanned you put it inside of your shopping bag that you brought to the grocery store, or if you're a bad person, the plastic bag that they give you at the grocery store when you reluctantly admit that, ah, I forgot my bags today. You don't have to put the vegetables in a bag to then put them in another bag. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with one other thing, okay? No judgment yet, no judgment. Yet, sometimes when they say they scan a, a meat item, beep boop, 100 pounds of ribeye steak. Hey, do you want us to add another bag around the bag that the meat is already in? I look at them like they, you know, grew a third leg coming out of their forehead. It already has a bag. I don't need another bag to go around the bag that the meat's in. The meat juices, I've never, maybe I'm just built different when it comes to stacking the bags. It's never been an issue. I've, I've never had a, a meat leak. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it, it happens very rarely to me, or, or never, which is the rarest of all. You'll have meat juices all over your single radish. I mean, I am a little psycho, as a little freak, as we've established. Most of the time that I, like, buy a cut of meat at the grocery store, I uh, am using it that night. So if it leaks a little bit, I'm like, whatever, man. One for me and one for my homies. Anyway, so that's a basket. Single basket, look, it's fine. There's, there's things for better and there's things for worse. Um, cart, this is where we get into some interesting, uh, dynamics. I got no problem with a basic cart. There, there are some little issues that pop up from time to time. Uh, one wheel is always fucked. I guess grocery stores had a problem with, uh, people stealing carts. So they made it so the wheels lock up if you leave a certain radius around the grocery store, but science has not yet invented a way to unlock the wheels. So instead, 
about 50% of the time here, you grab a cart, the wheels are just still magnetically with the brakes on. So you're, it's almost like you're just pushing like a shitty sled. NA logic. Look, I didn't invent the system. Okay. It's <laughs> if you've gone into a grocery store in Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, Los Angeles, New York city, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Miami, you have probably experienced something that's kind of similar to this. Okay. Um, Regardless, I got nothing against the cart. The thing I have something against is uh, human beings. Human, they, they either bump into people or they leave the cart in a place that doesn't allow other people to get around them. I'll cut them some slack. There are some grocery stores where clearly they put the store before the cart because the aisles are not wide enough for two carts to fit in going in opposite directions. And that's not operator error. That's that's the architect should face trial at the hog. But sorry, the hag. That would have that that joke would have hit better if I pronounced it properly. However, I do feel like the basket, I very rarely find myself inconvenienced by people holding a basket incorrectly. The cart, I do find myself inconvenienced, but it is in some ways, it's strictly superior to the basket. It's just a basket, but larger. A little less agile, like with a basket. Sometimes if you're feeling like a little bit, uh, you know, like a bike messenger, you can like filter, you can squeeze in and around people in the grocery store. The cart, you're pretty much beholden to the flow of traffic because you are traffic. Like this is like being a motorcycle on the freeway and this is like being a pickup truck. That being said... I think you got to say that in general, for, for most situations, I would say a cart is probably superior to the default basket. Now, we face an interesting dilemma here. Because there's two different things. One is, in my head, this drives better than this, which can't possibly be true. It's like a double-decker bus against the Ferrari Testarossa. But you know what? It, you know what? Cart uh, cart drives the best, and they don't have it here, so we can talk shit. Plastic cart, metal undercarriage. That's the the something about like the target carts. They always seem to drive well. It's like they have like a corporate mandate to make sure they always got their oil changes or whatever. They don't have them on this list, so instead, I've just got to go with the. Uh, you know, what we've been presented with. Uh, I, despite probably having gone grocery shopping, I wouldn't be surprised if I've gone 3,000 to 5,000 times in my life. No, that's like once every two days since I've been born. <laughs> Let's say 1,500 to 3,000 times in my life. Um, despite that, I still do not have a system for what to put on the top and what to put on the bottom. I genuinely, I, I just put stuff on the top when it feels right, and I put stuff on the bottom when it feels right. If you obviously, if you got a big pack of drinks or something like that, it's got to go on the bottom. But apart from that, I'm just kind of like, I'm just kind of freewheeling it. Um, but I guess maybe that's a positive. You get to create your own amounts. You get to create your, your own system. But I, I don't really see a huge advantage to having this separation in here. Like I, don't, I, don't see, I don't see how this system beats this system, which also has a floor for heavy stuff. Except that it's smaller. So in a, in a major metropolitan area, okay, I can see that this, this takes up less floor space. But what if you bought a large Detroit-style pizza? How are you going to fit that in there? It can't be done. I, I'm going to go ahead and say that I would probably place this into the... I, I'm actually in the C tier. I actually feel like this is a worse cart than the standard cart. Now this I've I've got to I got to think about is this a plastic basin 
with a canvas strap? What is this? It's a hard plastic basin with, with a cloth strap. How do you hold it? You, you hold it with your hands? You don't put it on your shoulder because that's asinine, right? Well, I mean, here's the, the problem that I have right now, okay? This makes sense because your hand, the handles are oriented in the right way. I know that sounds weird, but it's like it, it just makes sense that your hand is perpendicular to the long side. Whereas these straps right here, I'm like, your hands are perpendicular. Or maybe it's just the way that they come off of the... Yeah, it's the, the, the fact that they come off of the end as opposed to coming off the center. It just makes me feel like there's more pressure like on your hand to hold. It just doesn't look comfortable to hold. I feel like if I were holding this, it would be bumping into my legs all the time. It swings more. It makes that makes sense. Hold it better than I've never I've never seen this. And I'm not good at imagining how things work in three-dimensional space. This is a superstore slash no frills. Is it cloth or, or is the plastic hand is the handle plastic? <laughs> I can't speak anymore. They have these in the real Canadian superstore. It's a cloth basket. They have them in lob. Oh, so this is like a Galen Weston thing. I mean, I gotta be honest, I've never seen it. This is a D. I just in my head I'm willing to be if I if I find myself at a real Canadian superstore, I am willing to give it an honest review. But just playing with it in my mind's eye right now, I feel like there's no way it could be better than, than this basket. Also, like, doesn't it bump into your leg constantly when you're walking? Like, isn't every time you walk, aren't you like, like a gym bag, right? Like you're hitting it against your thigh as you walk? That's stupid. Get this shit out of here. Chib, you have, you have my permission to steal this content for sure. I, it seems great if you own one of these and then you put your grocery bags into, into this and then put this into your car so that it stays like even and ordered and organized. But this doesn't seem like something you use to buy in the... Like, you use this to, like, carry groceries in the store. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, so this cart... It simply annoys me. I think it, this is really just a basket that's put on some airs. When you compare it to the other carts, just, just look at it, okay? This cart, C tier, but it has two reasonably sized baskets, some separation in case you want that. I can't imagine why you would. Um, this one, freaking huge value pack right here. Also a nice little flat section for hauling large stuff. This, is, this cart is a loser. What is the benefit here? It has no flat section. And the top section is tiny. It looks like an alien from War of the Worlds. I don't understand what this could possibly do for you that these carts couldn't accomplish. This is one where I, I look at this and I say to myself, the grocery store skimped out. And maybe that's okay for the grocery store. Maybe they pass on those savings to you via the prices. Um, but I, if we're evaluating carts exclusively, uh, this is not a cart that I respect. And I've got to be honest, I put, it, I put it into the D tier. I still think I would rather have it than this, 
this jank basket, though. It's a high cart, so you don't have to bend down. Okay, so you're, this is an accessibility cart. I, I kind of see what you're saying here. Because, like, in this cart, if you were buying stuff, it's not like you have the option of putting it high, except in, like, the weird baby seat up here. But in this one... This card, you've got to admit, is superior. Because if you don't want to bend down, you could just put all your stuff in the top. Either way, I still think it's D tier. Here's the thing. It's my tier list, and I don't care if the stuff's high or low. I'm just going for pure function. Home Depot shopping cart. Not trying to make anyone have their worst day at their job ever. Historically, for me, I think that... Home Depot has consistently some of the most fucked up shopping carts next to, like, Food Basics. I, I completely understand it. You're hauling, you know, some lumber, heavy stuff, power tools and stuff like that. Um, but I, I'm, I'm sure there's some wear and tear, like they're taking a beating. But I, I do also think that they tend to, like, they, they depreciate. Like, you're losing, like, 80% of the value as soon as you take it off the lot. Uh, I I think I got to put it in the in the D tier or in the C tier. Sorry. The only thing I will say is that at Home Depot you don't have a choice. Well, I mean you do your your choice is not a basket or a cart. Your choice is this huge like uh like industrial loader or the cart. So the cart is basically like a basket. Once you get into the Home Depot, this is called a mini. Now. I have never seen this before in my life, except you can buy these for yourself and then take them to the store. I've never seen a store have this. Am I, am I the only one with this? Has anybody been to a store where they have these and you can grab them? I will say... We, um, we don't use it anymore, but before we had a car and when we would take the bus to H Mart or something like that, we had one of the like Korean style rollers that was basically like a big reusable grocery bag on two wheels with like a luggage handle attached to it. And I thought that it was the stupidest thing that I've ever seen. And then when I used it, I was like, this is so much smarter than just trying to man mode like seven heavy bags on the bus is actually as much as I hate to admit for my own machismo that there can be some value in making uh, a, a concession for convenience. It has, it has use and merit. This, this is when you got groceries, but you need to take public transit when you got to take your groceries up in the elevator if you live in an apartment yeah i i would look i i almost feel this should not be in the list cuz i don't see this as like a as a cart or a basket like you don't go to a store and find this and be like ah i wish they had plastic baskets you bring this yourself like this is this is playing the game this is Dr. Manhattaning. This is taking the grill pill. That being said, I, I will say that I, I think all things considered, I'm going to put it in B tier. I think it has A functionality, but I think you have to buy it yourself, which makes it a, that's a B tier in my opinion. Um, this, is, this is true neutral. This is the superior contraption. For me, this is a this is a dream come true. What the hell is that? I've never seen that. I hate this thing. I've never seen it before in my life. Really? <laughs> this is like a, this is a TNT supermarket joint. Um, I'm trying to think. There's there's other ones. You sometimes at like a like a private liquor store or something, or like a BC liquor store, you might see this. I actually feel like this is a Canadian tier list. I'm not sure, but yeah, H-Mart has similar, but they're red, Hanam as well. Like, I mean, I, 
I genuinely think this is the best of both worlds, except for the fact that you don't get like a huge cart. For someone who doesn't buy a lot of uh, groceries typically, a basket that has the opportunity to become a, a cart that you haul behind you. I mean, I, I'm not surprised that this is a controversial one, but for me, this is honestly like, it might even be S tier. The thing that pisses me off is that there is a lot of variance within the cart. You will oftentimes, I would say at least a quarter of the time, you will get one that is missing a handle. It could either be missing the handle that you hold it like a basket, and then you have to drag it, or it could be missing the dragger, in which case it's just a basket with wheels. And you're not going to like, you know, lean over like this. Um, it also, like if you have a problem, I mean, Corey, you can relate to this. We, we talk now and then about how people in Vancouver can't drive. Uh, this is like, imagine if you were in a, like the Metro Town parking lot, but everybody had like a rear wheel drive car that was hauling a boat. Like you, they, nobody knows how to take a, a corner when they're using these things in such a way that they don't generate like a pendulum swing and like hit the ankles of the people around them. Like, it, it, it does create some issues um, with that, but I do have to be honest. Like, I, I think this is my favorite cart because it gives you the modularity. No other one here gives you the modularity. What are you going to do? Oh, I don't want to wheel this thing anymore. I'm just going to pick up the cart like a basket. Or what do you, Don't be this guy either. Don't be the guy who, when you're in line for the grocery store, you put your cart down on the, or your basket down on the ground, and then you start sliding it with your foot. Uh, uh, that's disrespectful insubordinate and churlish also yeah Corey, i'm losing it man people are like you push it what the hell are you talking about man look at the look at the physics moment that gets created if you're pushing this thing if you put pressure on it right here all of the force gets directed into the back two wheels, and you're doing wheelies. You're flipping this thing over. You pull it behind you. It, you do not push it. You have lost your mind. This is a 100% pull. You guys are crazy. You, you come to Hanum down around North Road in Lowheed, and you tell me how many people you see pushing this shit. You go, go take a video. Go, hey, this is, I'm at the, uh, I'm at Hanam across from the H Mart in the North Road Plaza. Uh, we're going to do the, are they pushing or pulling challenge? You walk in the door, you're going to delete the video off of your phone. And I've never seen anybody pushing this. This is, this is a, it's, it's exclusively a pull. When you, when you push on, it's going to flip over. You're going to spill your kimchi. They're going to make you pay for it too. It's like 13 bucks a jar. You're buying heavy stuff, man. It pushes more than it pulls. I challenge you. Thud the stud, I challenge you. Okay? I want you to put a big jar of kimchi, a big jar of danmuji, a big jar of gatdugi, and then 20 pounds of beef shoulder that you're going to use to make your own bulgogi at home. Six Asian pears and a case of 64 eggs. You put that in this... And you push it, and if you can make it to the end of the, the Hanam supermarket at walking speed, I was going to say your groceries are free, but I'm not going to honor that deal. But I, it doesn't matter because you're flipping it over, you're spilling the eggs everywhere. This is a pull. Anyway, it's also S tier. IKEA canvas bag. This is S tier. It's actually just a better basket. Plus, it feels cool as hell. Uh, like, something about... It's, it's like a bougie garbage bag, but in a way that I actually like. Like this, it, it, it's big, it's spacious, it carries well. You can use it for anything. You know, it's it, like you, you could take your... You put your groceries in this in the future. Obviously, you can put a gigantesque garbage can in here if you wanted to, to assemble it at home. It's so versatile. It, it holds its shape. It's like, it's, 
it's hard when it needs to be hard and it's soft when it needs to be soft, you know? It's it's a perfect multifaceted polyformic polymorphic hauling tool. It's good. The only thing that sucks about it is I shed a single tear whenever I have one of these and then I see that it's starting to fray at the edges. That's that's what bothers me. Now, can I tell you though? Rip Sweden, the IKEA hauler is actually like a piece of shit. And I I sympathize with their plight because I I don't know if there's a great hauling solution when you might buy like you know 200 pounds worth of furniture that you have to stack up onto a single thing but it's just like it gets too unwieldy uh I do like the bag holder I think that's kind of cool that you can you can drape the bag over the center I mean IKEA has all sorts of cool uh you know design touches like that but uh also does definitely demolishes your shins I mean, I just, I, I, again, I feel like they, they're kind of in a cursed situation, right? Like, no matter what, I don't know how you solve the problem, but the shit is hard to steer. Like, once you get a, a couple of end tables, a couple of Billy bookcases on there, you know, you, you're in the position. If you get any speed going, you become like a locomotive. You got to... You've got to start hitting the brakes before you think it's time to start hitting the brakes. Otherwise, you're going to end up shattering someone's tibia. So it is what it is. But I mean, like, I, I you're right. You know, like me, even just like a flip up guard or something like that, just like a, tuk, tuk. or 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 like uh, if if there was like a foot break that you could step on that would actually stop the wheels instead of you just having to risk having like your shoulders come out of their sockets. They should just have a motor in them. I mean, I, I'm sure this is part of the reason that Ikea is pretty cheap, but like, I also kind of feel like when you go to Ikea, you should just like go to the cash register, give them a list of shit that you want, pay for it and then just like pull your car up to the front and have people load it for you but maybe maybe that makes me seem out of touch maybe that makes me seem like I'm not the everyman but to me that it would be nice for me if they did that some places do do that hey look at that great minds think alike that's a thing in Sweden it's they got it all figured out over there. Except for like the price of beer. Way too expensive. I mean like nine bucks a bottle. What do, what do you... Anyway. Okay. Home Depot flat cart. It's a superior version to the Ikea cart. I mean I don't know what else to say. I mean I think it's a C. I don't know how I feel about the six wheels, though. I think that's, that's what's throwing me off here. I kind of feel like six wheels is too much of a good thing. That can't possibly improve your handling, right? You think it's, it's a weight thing? Also, maybe I'm just becoming too much of a dad, but this picture just pisses me off. Like, lay the, the, you have a flat screen television in this cart, and you've got it standing up, like, vertically like this. Just lay it flat, asshole. Like, what are you doing? Not, not on its screen. You lay it flat on the back. You don't want to lay a TV flat. I've been laying TVs flat my whole life. 100%. It's never created a problem for me. This, you, let me tell you, you take one corner in this, this shit's laying flat no matter what. You try to, you try to pivot this into the self-checkout, it's going over.
Can you strap like like moving straps to this? You also have the cheapest TV you could find at Future Shop. Wrong. That was in 2014. I bought a $200 32-inch flat screen TV at Future Shop. When we moved, I got the cheapest TV that TCL offers that was the exact size I wanted to fit in my entertainment center. And you know what? Except for the fact that once every two weeks, it just turns off and does an auto reset in the middle of whatever show I'm watching, and I can't uh, reboot it. I just have to wait for it to reboot itself. Except for that, it's worked out pretty well so far. <laughs> I'm happy with this tier list, by the way. I think this tier list is... I, I stand by the modular cart basket. I love the IKEA bag. I mean, if we're being honest, like... Everything else is pretty much the same. This is just the strictly worst cart. This basket uh, it seems designed not for human beings, but for cars. And I, I don't respect the tier two cart or the two tier cart versus the you know old standby. But you know maybe that's just me. Slash marker shopping.